हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम्स डॉट डॉट कॉम आई नीम इज रमनदीप सिंह स्टूडेंट्स शुड बी ग्रेड ए ग्रेड बी नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द ईयर 24 25 इज आउट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया द एग्जाम पैटर्न एंड द सिलेबस पूरा डिस्कस करेंगे सिलेबस किस तरह से है क्या पढ़ना है क्या नहीं पढ़ना वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट सिड बी ग्रेड ए ग्रेड बी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव कॉर्स इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल ऑन बैंक एग्जाम्स डॉट डॉट कॉम इन विच वी आर कवरिंग द एंटायर सिलेबस लिंक्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन राइट so first of all important dates uh, from 8th of november till 2nd of december you can apply and the exam is going to be held on uh, 22nd of december 2024 and phase 2 exam is going to be held on 19th of january 2025 to ye dates aap yaad rakhe so 2nd of december is the last date to apply last date se pehle pehle apply kar le right and there are total 50 vacancies for grade a and 10 vacancies for grade b uh general but for the legal there are total 6 vacancies minimum age to apply is 21 for grade a uh, and maximum age to apply as on 8th of november 2024 is 30 years theek hai for grade b minimum age is 25 maximum is 33 for grade b legal same 25 to 33 years as on 8th of november 2024 सो रिलैक्सेशन इज़ अवेलेबल अकॉर्डिंग टू द कैटेगरीज वेरियस कैटेगरीज के अकॉर्डिंग जो है आपको रिलैक्सेशन मिलेगा राइट लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड सो क्वालिफिकेशन एडुकेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन रिक्वायर्ड इफ यू हैव डन ग्रेजुएशन इफ यू हैव डन ग्रेजुएशन इन कॉमर्स इकोनॉमिक्स मैथमेटिक्स स्टैटिस्टिक्स a business administration or engineering with 60% marks then you are eligible right for sc st pwbd category candidates 50% is required in case you didn't get 60% marks and you are a cs ca cfa ca cs cfa cma uh then 60% requirement is not there right and if you have done mba or pg dbm uh and, and it is a two year course even then you are eligible theek hai for grade b general manager grade b similar criteria is here but in case you didn't get 60% graduation but you have done post graduation with 55% marks then you are eligible theek hai for manager grade b legal a bachelor's degree in law is required with 50% marks for general category and you must be enrolled as an advocate with bar council of india bar council of india ka exam diya hua hai aapne right desirable qualifications are there but nahi bhi kari hui that is totally fine uh, desirable is efficiency proficiency in computer applications and masters degree in law that is desirable not compulsory not mandatory work experience requirement is there uh, only for candidates having uh, educational qualification in the point 1 so graduation in commerce economics mathematics statistics uh engineering or business administration with 60% marks or company secretary cfa cwa then essential qualification essential work experience is there agar aap ca ho if you are a ca work experience is not required but for rest of the candidates you need uh, two years of work experience in credit dispensation in area of msme corporate finance and corporate lending theek hai so that experience can be in a in a scheduled commercial bank in nbfc in an all india financial institution exim bank uh, in nabard nafed said be you need to have uh, two years of experience right to be eligible or candidates having at least two years of experience in entities in uh, investment banking alternative investment finance asset reconstruction companies subsidiaries of commercial banks in msme segment right or project management right for general manager grade b 5 years of work experience is required as an officer in rbi sebi or all india financial institution exim bank nabard nafed nhp right or any scheduled commercial bank right or an nbfc registered with rbi so 5 years of work experience is required also 5 years of work experience is also required for manager grade b legal right in the legal department not outsourced well, in the legal department of rbi sebi again uh, all india financial institutions like exim bank sidbi 
NABARD, NHB, NAFED. So you need to have five year of experiences in there. So further experience in commercial banks, scheduled commercial banks, uh, central public sector enterprises, NBFCs registered with the RBI, all that is valid. Okay. So job profile, uh, the officers are expected to contribute proactively in following broad areas. You can read the notification yourself, right? So business development, appraisal of MSME, credit proposals, business growth, increase in new customer onboarding. So all that is there. Okay, but we should focus on the exam. Okay, exam pe focus karte hain. So should be uh, grade A salary structures are there. Uh, so it's the basic salary starts from 44 500 for grade a right so approximately 1 lakh rupee that is the approximately payment that a candidate is going to get after final after getting the final selection right so there is a probation period the selected candidates would be on probation for a period of two years which can be extended for four years right so in the selection process there is a written exam in the written exam, there is English language for all stream. It's common English language, reasoning ability, quantitative aptitude, computer knowledge, right? So 30 question in the English language, 25 questions in the reasoning, 25 in quant and 20 in computer knowledge, total 120 minutes are there. And then there is general awareness, 20 questions, 20 marks, right? Uh, with special reference to the banking and the financial sector. A new subject of MSME is there, MSME policy, regulatory, legal framework, finance and the management is there and the stream uh, specific test would be there for the legal, right? So English language, reasoning, quant and computer knowledge, they are qualifying in nature, right? They won't be considered for final selection, general awareness and then the MSME wala subject, uh, MSME and then the stream specific subject would be considered for final selection, right? For the syllabus in the English language, there is reading comprehension, closed test, error spotting, double fillers, sentence rearrangement, vocabulary based questions is there. In the reasoning ability, machine input, output, inequalities, puzzles, uh, sitting arrangement, uh, statements and arguments, statements and assumptions, coding, decoding, uh, blood relations, syllogism, direction sense test, all that is part of the syllabus, right? And the quantitative aptitude, data interpretation, uh, time and work, time speed and distance, time uh, approximation, simple and compound interest, ratio and proportions, averages, mixtures, pipes and systems, problem based on trains, percentages, partnerships, profit and loss, algebra, quadratic equation, that's part of the syllabus for the quantitative aptitude, right? For the computer knowledge, hardware and software, operating system basics, internet terms, MS Office, history of computers, networking, database, security tools, MS Office, all that is important. For the banking and the general awareness, right, uh, general awareness with special focus on the finance and the banking industry. RBA circulars are most important here, banking reforms, regulatory bodies in India, international banking, latest circulars of RBI, uh, financial terms, banking terms, uh, acts related to banking, NPA, Surfic Act, RBA's monetary policy, capital market, money market, any merger and acquisition, anything that is in the news in the banking industry, credit rating, complete list of obituaries and all, cabinet ministers, uh, financial market, capital market instruments, right, uh, international reports and indices, important committees, India's rank in different indices, basal norms, appointments, days uh, with themes, ranking, MOUs, all that is part of the syllabus. For MSME's policy framework is important role of SIDB, MSME policies in India, regulatory framework, uh, legal structure and governing of MSME's compliance requirements are there, government schemes related to the MSME's, right? So uh, MSME financing is there, management practices for the MSME's, this syllabus is official, right? This is official, officially given in the notification. Policy, regulatory and the legal framework, finance and management with focus on MSME. So we need to do finance and management. MSME financing, due diligence, KYC, financial ratios, assessment of term loans, working capital, documentary, credit, etc. NPAs, IRAC norms, RBI key guidelines, NBFC financing, credit risk assessment, etc. So that is a uh, part of the syllabus for MSMEs, which we are going to cover.
so stream specific questions would be there the same irac norm nbfc financing and credit risk assessment is there for phase 2 uh, for english language uh, there is essay pressy writing comprehensions right business office correspondence would be there that will be a descriptive paper you need to type your answers three questions 75 marks and 75 minutes would be allotted ms msme ka syllabus is same for the paper 2 as we have mentioned previously that will be a descriptive paper there will be 10 questions the 10 questions would be asked of which candidates are required to attempt four questions uh, two of 15 marks each right and two of 10 marks each right 75 minutes would be allotted so some questions carry two marks some questions would be carrying one mark for the legal uh, english language test is same <clears throat> for the general knowledge of law constitutional law administrative law principle of statutory interpretation contract act transfer of property act negotiable instrument registration act bharatiya nyay sanhita bharatiya nagrik suraksha uh, Sanhita, Bharatiya, Sakshi Adhiniyam, Legal Drafting, RDB Act, Surf IC, RTI, Limitation and IBC is there, right? So, descriptive papers is there. So, all tests will be provided in both English and Hindi. There will be a negative marking of one-fourth, right? So, uh, the calling ratio to qualifying, uh, the calling ratio to qualify for phase 2 exam uh, would be a maximum of 1 to 25. So, for each seat at max, 25 candidates would be called for the phase 2 exam, right? So, in the SID B, grade A, grade B course, we are covering the entire syllabus with the help of video classes, notes, quizzes, and the test series. Link to join the course is available in the description. You can check there. We have already started the course and we are covering the entire syllabus. This is our WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer all your doubts. So list of our successful students in the past, all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams. And I'm really, really happy for them. You can be one of them in the future for sure, right? And that's, I guess, all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.